Uh, so we could, uh, oh, sh right, guys. <laughs> yes, we're here on our second shot. Camera guy was doing bullets just now. So we gotta start from the beginning. We have with us today. Uh, my name is George. I'm from a Queens United Cricket Academy in New York. Nice, nice. And what does Queens United Cricket Academy do? Uh, we started our academy about two years ago. Uh, in New York, we have a lot of cricket clubs. I believe we have over 400 cricket clubs for the adult. But these adults are not looking after a younger generation. So we decided that we will strictly concentrate on the younger people under, under 16 and our academy. We believe in the youth. We love the youth, you know. Uh, because uh, I'm also an immigrant, but I always believe that mm -hmm. unless we target American-born kids, mm -hmm. cricket will not take place in America. And um, our baseball players have much more ability than uh, anyone, any, any other, any other sports people. Mm -hmm. So it's only a matter of uh, time for them, the baseball players, to pick up the cricket bat and uh, convert them to a cricket player. So where are you originally from? I'm originally from Kerala. Uh, Kerala, India, which is not a cricketing state. We mostly concentrate on athleticism and uh, and uh, soccer, which is football. You said this is your first time here? Or? Uh, yeah, this this is first time. About uh, two years ago, I had the opportunity to visit uh, um, Guyana along with the USA Na National Academy. I was the assistant coach of under-13 teams. Okay, how, how was that tour? Uh, it's, I mean, it's a two different uh, Guyana and uh, and uh, and uh, Barbados. Is both are a cricketing nation, yeah. and uh, we see a lot of difference and a uh, lot of uh, we we, see, uh, we, uh, we got a lot of experience by visiting these two countries. Earlier, before the camera guy made the blunder, I was asking you the difference you've experienced between turf pitches and matting. Uh, the matting we get ball comes consistently and uh, has a good bounce so the players normally stays in back foot and try to cut and pull the ball they don't drive much on the front foot here uh ball doesn't bounce as much as the matting wicket so people has to play in the front foot i mean uh, as we can see that you know our players struggled in the initial part of the tour but we are come to the last match of the tour and our players are getting much more experience Looking for a victory today. You, you have to win today. Definitely, you know. Any team come, you know, always wants to win. But that's not my uh, uh, complete uh, desire. We wanted to learn something new from here so that we could apply that to U.S. cricket. So since you've been here, what have you learned? Uh, I mean, basically, from the beginning, from the the time we walk into the cricket ground. The time you leave from the cricket ground is totally different uh, in a cricketing nations than in New York. In a, in a, in a, if you look at it in, a, in America, cricket players come in all over the place. They don't sit together as a team. And as soon as they come in, they pick up the ball and start playing because they get excited. Mm -hmm. But if you look at it, structured cricket cricketers, they come, sit together, they practice together, eat together, leave. That definitely need to work on it. And as, as I asked okay, Mitch earlier, um, where can you see the club in another few years? Uh, when we start the academy, we had a five-year plan. Mm -hmm. uh, within five years, we will be co able to compete with uh, most of the players in USA. Uh, and uh, no one is expect a baby to walk within a year. Mm -hmm. uh, but I believe our academy, if within the first year itself, not only we start to crawl, we walk. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a good progress, but. You can't compare it with the cricketing nation and are nowhere close to it. And all my children who plays in our academy, we are about uh, 70 registered players, all of them from five years to 16 years. We don't entertain anyone over 16 years. And in this tour, if you look at it, only one kid is 16, the one with the opening baller from here. He just turned to 16 when he was here last week. And the rest of them all like a 12, we have a nine year old players from nine to most of the average players are 13 years old. So he's about to retire from the academy now? Uh, from the academy, he has to move <laughs> to the club level, you know? Okay. So the academy administration makes up of, like, you have the president, have the... Yes. 
Tell us the, the people that are on board with us. Here. All right. The Queen's United Cricket, uh, Queen's United Sports Club has a academy, mm -hmm. senior team. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have a master's, which is you have to be 45 and up. Oh, okay, that's uh, I mean. I, <laughs> I'm going to get to play some cricket for the master's. And academy, we have a three t uh, three teams this year: under 12, mm -hmm. under 14, and under 16. Okay. Yeah. And our president right now is uh, uh, Mr. Hutchison. He's the president of the of the uh, Masters, okay. and uh, Mr. Tony Hines is the academy president and the academy director. Okay. Yeah. So, Tony Hines is the is the guy umpiring. Yeah, because of the short of umpires yeah. here, Tony Hines is doing that for uh, Mr. Franklin Stevenson. Oh, fair enough. So how, how do you find the people treat you in Barbados? Oh, this is a lovely place, man. You can't, I mean, uh, the moment we came in, it's like uh, nobody wants to leave. This is a, one of the best place to visit. Fun, yeah. cricket. So it, he, sound, he sound like he was drinking rum too, but <laughs> excluded it. Yeah. You've been drinking any rum? Me? I don't take any alcohol, but for me, this is it. To enjoy it, I don't think any I need any artificial <laughs> flavor. <laughs> but I'm, I mean, the, the people, man, around, it's unbelievable, so unbelievable. Mitch, I, I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, you, this, I I know, have, I this guy, I know he had to. What about the alcohol? Yes, the rum is amazing. Mount Gay rum can't go wrong. Bottle of night will keep uh, all the illnesses away. Clears your body right out. It's good. <laughs> brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> Barbados doing it. <laughs> and um, did you guys do anything fun like outside of cricket? You know, you go to sightseeing or I know you went to the rum scene. Yeah, yeah. But outside of that, did you guys do anything even with the kids or? Yes. Uh, from the south to north, we driven all the way. Uh, we visited most of these attra and, uh, tourist attraction places, mm -hmm. and uh, yesterday was uh, dedicated for that. So we, uh, you know, we were not playing any cricket yesterday. Oh, so you had a good time? Yeah, I had a great time. Not many countries in the world where you can drive the whole island in a couple of hours. Yeah, yeah a couple of hours. You mean like an hour, yeah, not yeah, a couple? You got you to stop off and have a drink here in <laughs> each parish, right? Uh, fair enough. Um, what venues did you guys play at? Uh, most of our games were here. Then we played a one game in Melbourne, okay. and also we played a one game in uh, Saint Lucie, the North side? Uh, one in North, all the way to the say, the one of the school ground. Oh, uh, Saint Martin, maybe? Uh, no, no, uh, Saint, uh, Saint Lucie. Uh, Saint Lucie is North, Saint or Saint Peter's. Yeah, Courtney Brown is from that Where, uh, school. Kima Roach is yeah, Kima Roach oh, and Courtney is Brown. Alexander. Yeah, Alexander. Yeah, we played there. Yeah. Oh, where he's from. Well, Rochi, I don't know where you're from. <laughs> <laughs> and um, how, how were the how were the grounds outside of the Stevenson's Academy? Uh, excellent. excellent. The ground yeah. pitch, excellent. Uh, but uh, can I have one request to the Caribbean population? Uh, anyone who's moving to New York area, especially if you're moving with the children, get in touch with us, <laughs> and we have a place for your children to play. You know? So you don't have to leave your cricket when you leave from here. And then it's pitch crew riders as well. If yes. you're a pitch curator, come yeah. to New York and prepare them some oh, nice yeah, turf wickets. We need, we need some pitch curators. Yeah, we're thinking about putting a, a, in a turf wicket. Nice. Brilliant stuff, brilliant stuff. And that is it for today with Silly Point. Charlie? Char well, that is all. I am probably going to have a little drink here with my friend, Mick. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't drink. I don't know. Oh I'll my take a God. Punch. Okay, okay. Virgin, though. Virgin. <laughs> I'll have his back. Oh, pinnacle. <laughs> okay, so that's all for now. Charlie out. Spinny out, Coach Mitch out, George out. <laughs> wow, that's it.